Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl, the season 4 finale called The Quest for Peace. So we started off 24 hours earlier where stuff is starting to go down. And then we have six hours earlier, we're at the Meritech Energy Transfer, or the refin Refinery, where Alex uh, tests um, the alien transfers to his um, Lex suit, and it works. Then uh, Lex um, wants to take out Ben next, so um, Eve puts that into motion. Then we go one hour earlier, where the President talks to the President, Lex talks to the president and it's uh, tat time with everything with Cassie and Supergirl vs. Spread Daughter and all the things are happening. <laughs> then uh, we had, then we see that Lex is saving the day and then we have where Red Dawn confronts Lex and he offs her on TV but not really. And then we have Alex and um, Alex's mom talk to Supergirl and she's still going to fight and still going to do what she needs to do. Then at Refinery, um, we have Lex puts down Red Daughter and just humiliates her. It's like, you had internet access. You could have seen what I was capable of and doing your research. And then we go back to Lockwood. It's at his factory and sees the news and he's been replaced by Lex. And then we have, um, then a bunch of, um, Lex's goons show up and try to off Ben, but he kills all of them, and it turns out it was Eve the entire time. All Eves. And then we go back to Refinery, which is on Shelly Island, and the aliens are making parts. And then Lena and Brainy check the news, then Carr comes by with Alex, and then Brainiac, um, or Brainy shows them, um, clues them in on all the information and has all of Kara's files that says she's going to write an article. <clears throat> and then we cut to, uh, Lena got an invite to Lex's, um, uh, ceremony and so she goes with, um, at, so she goes to the White House with, um, uh, Lex and her mom shows up and we're having a little family time and no one's having nothing. <clears throat> and then we cut to where he clues him in on everything that he's trying to do and he wants to re, uh, re, he wants to redo the energy and re, I can't say it. He wants to do the energy with all the alien DNA to re, he wants to redo it <laughs> with alien energy, which is barbaric. Revolutionizing it. There we go. He wants to revolute. Okay, anyway, moving on. And, uh, so, uh, he's going to use, and then he's also going to use the satellite to, um, obliterate Argo, where Superman is. And using a, like, a Claymore satellite that's been updated. Then we cut to where, uh, the mom and the sis are, don't, are not buying it. And then we have Eve is worried now because, um, they, she, he did not discuss that with her, with Argo. And then we cut to the refinery, he has a fight, and basically they turn off the system, uh, Dream and uh, John did. Then Cara did the article, and um, Alex reads it, and she really, really likes this Like This is really good. Then we cut to where Dreamer uh, tells them where they are, uh, thanks to the astral plane. And then we have Lex's um, onto the mom, because the mom tried to poison Lex, but obviously that didn't happen. Then Kara's article goes public, and then we cut to where Brainy will hack into the satellite. Um, after Supergirl, Brainy, and James, and Alex, and Supergirl are all on Shelly Island. But the Children of Liberty show up, and then it's Ben versus Supergirl, and we have a really cool fight scene. Then the launch is actually happening, so John is going to overload it with his mental ability. And then we got to where Lex is heading there because um, when he was about to launch the satellite, there was obviously an issue. Then we have um, another cool fight scene. Then we have James is in trouble. And then Ben is down, thanks to Supergirl. And I must say, the fight scenes were freaking stellar in this episode. I was like, damn. 
Anyway, and then we cut to where Lex arrives, and then it's Lex vs. Supergirl. And that was insane. And then we have John is um, failing to overload the machine, so Dreaming goes in and helps. And then Brainy reverts back to his old self and says, I love you too, uh, Dreamer. Then we cut to where James, and, where it's James versus Ben, and that was crazy. Okay, this sequence between Lex and Ben and Supergirl and Lex were crazy. And then Ben and James both extracted the Heronel from themselves, and now uh, and we have John evacuating all of the aliens. And one of those was uh, Red Dawn, but she goes to save Supergirl and does save her, and then uh, she is gone. But realized what she'd done and everything. And then Supergirl got a charge and handles Lex. And then um, Supergirl tried to save save him, but he refused to be saved. Uh, so we're made to believe that he's gone, gone. And then we cut to where, um, but he does escape to his um, little bunker where Lena is there, and he and she extracted the hair note from him, and literally off to him. <laughs> And, but before he's off, he exposes Supergirl to her, that car is Supergirl, and then he's gone. And then we have the president is in trouble, and now the alien act is, is back, and Haley thinks Supergirl on TV, and I think she's also the new secretary of um, alien affairs. And then we have James, um, Sis, and Alex are kissing, and so that was neat. And then we're, we have game night, we have Lena's pin on a brave face. And then Carl went until later to tell her that, that, that how she's Supergirl. And then we see Ben's um, kid is a good kid. He's actually standing up for the aliens and stuff. And he's got actually like a good head on his shoulders, which I really liked. And his dad is in jail watching it like, okay. <laughs> And then we cut to where um, this lady talks to Eve and talks about the Leviathan and that she needs to do better. And then the guy that's been in all the um, season finale so far um, releases another guy and it's John's brother. And they're going to duke it out. So I don't know what that's about. So that's going to be interesting for next season. Then, uh, Lena is pissed. She literally slammed a drink on the picture of Alex, um, her, and Kara on it. She is pissed. Then, <clears throat> and then the guy that was, that's been in every uh, season finale shows up at Lex's bunker with him, and I don't know if he's going to revive him or not, so that's going to be very interesting. But anyway, um, I give this episode, I gave it A+. Plus. I really, really enjoyed this episode. And we get to see the shutdown of the Children of Liberty and how that's finally pretty much done. And, you know, the fight scenes were incredible. Oh my god. I loved it. Um, just, and the fact that, you know, everything's about to change between Lena and Kara. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how that works. And overall, I give the uh, entire season a strong A. I didn't really like the Children of Liberty thing because of the call Roach's thing. And it was very mirroring um, today's politics, which I was not... To me, when I watch a TV show, I want to escape, so that was my only issue. But beyond that, it was a really good episode. And yes, there was a lot of injust injustice. I just felt like we could have not been so on the nose about stuff. But anyway, I really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, so anyway, that's one of this video. So if like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode and the season overall. Do you agree, disagree? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot. Sorry I'm posting this later. I forgot to charge my camera. And uh, anyway, bye.